So a couple things I wanted to try and capture with you tonight, and that is to share with you the different subcomponents of a house and understand what the subcomponents are to think about how they may be interdependent of each other in terms of sequencing and perhaps scheduling the construction of such a home. So let's get started. As you can see here, I've, I've drawn a very simple single level family home. And in this drawing, there are a number of things I want to share with you that are components of a house. Now, I know some of you may be very familiar or may have friends or colleagues who are builders. And so you may already know a little bit about the construction of a home and what parts and pieces make up a home. But I thought still it would be good to speak to you to the general parts so you can have that idea of what the needs are for the Pulliam family as you're putting together this proposal uh, for them to evaluate at the end of the course. So the first thing that is a huge part of a new home, that would be the foundation of the home. And that's going to be the bottom support structure of the home. Now, in the foundation, it is made up of concrete, and the concrete essentially is poured into forms that are generated that will support the structure. So the first thing that we can think about in the construction of a home is the foundation. And as I mentioned in the foundation, is that you will require lumber or wood materials that will be create, uh, uh, in essence, a form that that concrete can be poured into. So foundations, wood forms, and concrete material will make up for the sub-base which is going to be setting in the ground to support the home structure. Now, after you build the foundation, what do you have? You have the next step, which is going to then build the floor of the home. So you build the foundation, on the foundation will set the floor. And the floor here will be this yellow piece that I'm showing here, and that typically in American construction is going to be wood framed. So a next potential deliverable subcomponent part of the home would be the floor. And that floor will be framed with wood. So we would, could call that wood framing that will essentially build and complete that floor. Okay, so after you've got the floor, floor built, the next piece that is in sequence in the construction of a new home, and that is a part subcomponent of that new home, is going to be, and some of you may have already guessed this, it's going to be walls. Right? So the walls will be built on top of the floor. And here in green, that makes a lot of sense, where you're going to be building the walls up from the floor that will basically sustain the rooms and create the rooms that will be part of the home structure. So with walls, we also frame the walls with wood. Typical lingo in the construction business would be we frame walls with wood studs. So studs usually are what we use to frame the walls. Now, we've got foundation to support our structure. We've got the floor of made of wood framing that's going to support our walls. The walls then in turn support, and some of you may have gotten ahead of me on that, the walls in turn support this piece of the structure, which is, of course, the roof. So we have the roof structure, and it, again, is 
going to be framed with wood, which is a typical American process is to frame with wood. Now, some of you may be familiar and potentially, if you choose to do so, may be able to develop and build your product out of concrete masonry, ma concrete masonry units, which we call CMU. Uh, I'm not certain of some of the construction techniques in Mexico, but that is a, a viable uh, framing technique that you could potentially use, would be concrete masonry units. So that is certainly not uh, uh, something that the Pulliams would be averse to, so certainly if it's something that you're looking at doing, you could use concrete masonry units. Now, what we basically have, when we look at these three components of a single level home, or I should say four components of a single level home, is we've got a foundation, we've got a floor, we've got walls, we've got a roof. In order of speaking towards the structure of the home, basically what all of this details is something that we would call a rough order of construction. That is to say, when we construct and build our product, this particular piece of building the product, which is structural, which is a rough order in building the product, we're essentially building the, the framework of this product. And so when we say rough order of construction, this is going to be a rough order of our frame of the work that we do, we're doing. So for part one, what I want you to think about when we think about a work breakdown structure when it leads to a single family home product is how are we breaking out the home? And I wanted to share with you today one perspective of how I view the home and how through this conversation this evening may help you and your teams think about how you might want to break out your home and, and the product that you are developing for the Pulliams. So I'm going to end my conversation with you this evening on that note. I will present an additional lecture that will speak more and fine tune the product in terms of what we're looking for on the inside of the house. One of the teams put together a preliminary work breakdown structure for me where they had broken out in a similar arrangement that I show behind me is that they had an external subcomponent part of the project, basically a summary task, external work for the product against what would be an internal component of that product which would be kind of in the interior finish type work against what we show here, which is kind of a rough order of construction uh, framework uh, magnitude type of work, as opposed to something that's more delicate and more of an interior nature. So the idea behind this lecture is to give you some ideas of how potentially when you look at your new home, and what you're going to be presenting at the end of the course, how you might want to go about breaking out the work. So I hope this was helpful for you this evening. I'm open to any questions that you may have during the course of the week to help you with your work breakdown structure. You should also be thinking about your project network. Maybe one thing to understand through the course of the lecture tonight as it relates to the new home and the rough order of construction is how does the sequence of these subcomponents work together? So through the work breakdown structure then, as you begin to put your project network together, how do these subcomponent parts work together in the sequencing of your network? So again, something for you all to think about. So have a great evening. Get together with your teams as you're starting to work on this work breakdown structure. And I hope this lecture was able to be helpful for you. And again, please, Get a hold of me, send me emails, uh, post in the question and answer form any questions that you might have, and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Everybody have a great evening, and I look forward to talking to you soon on another lecture.